So go ahead, listen and place the synonyms properly. Make sure you ask your teacher to double check on your as many times as you need to. Page 87. Exercise 3. Grammar focus. Participles as adjectives. Present participles. Stephen King's books are fascinating. The last James Bond film was boring. The new Halle Berry movie sounds interesting. Past participles. I'm fascinated by Stephen King's books. I was bored by the last James Bond film. I'm interested in the new Halle Berry movie. Before we begin, I want to go over to what exactly is the past participle. The past participle is the form of a verb typically ending in ed in English that is used in forming perfect and passive tenses and sometimes as an adjective. In this section, we'll study participles as adjectives. Pay attention. I want to go over two important points. Number one, do you remember what an adjective is? Very good. An adjective describes a noun. For example, the white cat ran away from John. Adjective, white, noun, cat. In other words, because participles can be used as adjectives, it means that the participle as adjective also describes a noun. For example, the white cat was exciting to watch. Noun, cat, participle as adjective, exciting. Hello, Diana, good evening. How are you today? I'm good evening, teacher. I'm fine, thank you. How are you? During the audio program. Very good, very good. Right here, getting ready. Could you tell me a little bit about what you remember from the previous class? What can you tell me in regards to the previous class? Mm. I don't remember. <laughs> I have a short term memory. Okay, okay, that's okay. Uh, in the previous class, we were basically going over this Let's information over that. here. When we uh, use section number vocabulary oh, options. Yeah. We looked at the listening. How did you like it? This one right here. Page 88, exercise five, listening. How did you like it? Part A. Listen to people talk about books and movies. Do you think each person would recommend the book or movie? One. What did you think of the new Stephen King book? Oh, once I got started, I couldn't stop reading. I stayed up till four o'clock in the morning to finish it. And wasn't the ending great? Yeah, it really was. Such a surprise. And the whole story moved along so fast, too. Two. How did you like the movie? Well, I walked out after half an hour. You did? Yeah. It was so dull that I started falling asleep. And I've never seen such bad acting from Jim Carrey. Oh, really? 
He's usually pretty good. Well, not in this movie. I wish he'd choose better roles. Three. What did you think of that documentary about Australia? I learned so much. I didn't know they had so many different kinds of animals there. And the photography. Yeah, it was something, wasn't it? Uh-huh. It was pretty amazing. It made me really want to go there and see it for myself. Four. Have you read that book that just came out about UFOs? Yeah, what a waste of time. Just the same silly stuff about visitors to Earth from other planets. Uh-huh. It said absolutely nothing new. You know, I'm sick of hearing stories about little green creatures. If they're real, how come no one can ever take a picture of them? Page 88. Exercise 5. Part B. Listen again. Check the adjective that best describes what they say about each page 88. Exercise 5. Listening. How did you like it? Part A. Listen to people talk about books and movies. Do you think each person would recommend the book or movie? 1. What did you think of the new Stephen King book? Oh, once I got started, I couldn't stop reading. I stayed up till 4 o'clock in the morning to finish it. And wasn't the ending great? Yeah, it really was. Such a surprise. And the whole story moved along so fast, too. 2. How did you like the movie? Well, I walked out after half an hour. You did? Yeah. It was so dull that I started falling asleep. And I've never seen such bad acting from Jim Carrey. Oh, really? He's usually pretty good. Well, not in this movie. I wish he'd choose better roles. 3. What did you think of that documentary about Australia? I learned so much. I didn't know they had so many different kinds of animals there. And the photography. Yeah, it was something, wasn't it? Uh-huh. It was pretty amazing. It made me really want to go there and see it for myself. 4. Have you read that book that just came out about UFOs? Yeah, what a waste of time. Just the same silly stuff about visitors to Earth from other planets. Uh-huh. It said absolutely nothing new. You know, I'm sick of hearing stories about little green creatures. If they're real, how come no one can ever take a picture of them? Page 88. Exercise 5. Part B. Listen again. Check the adjective that best describes what they say about each one. 1. What did you think of the new Stephen King book? Oh, once I got started, I couldn't stop reading. I stayed up till 4 o'clock in the morning to finish it. And wasn't the ending great? Yeah, it really was. Such a surprise. And the whole story moved along so fast, too. 2. How did you like the movie? Well, I walked out after half an hour. You did? Yeah, it was so dull that I started falling asleep. And I've never seen such bad acting from Jim Carrey. Oh, really? He's usually pretty good. Well, not in this movie. I wish he'd choose better roles. 3. What did you think of that documentary about Australia? I learned so much. I didn't know they had so many different kinds of animals there. And the photography. Yeah, it was something, wasn't it? Uh-huh. It was pretty amazing. It made me really want to go there and see it for myself. 4. Have you read that book that just came out about UFOs? Yeah, what a waste of time. Just the same silly stuff about visitors to Earth from other planets. Uh-huh. It said absolutely nothing new. You know, I'm sick of hearing stories about little green creatures. If they're real, how come no one can ever take a picture of them? All right, everybody, listen and repeat. Tell me about a book you read.
Tell me about a documentary you watched. Tell me Tell me about a movie you watched. Tell me about a movie you watched. Tell me your opinion about UFOs. Tell me your opinion about UFOs. Okay, so what I want you to do right now is I'm going to give you about five minutes and I would like for you to prepare a discussion about these topics. Similar to the audio, in the audio, they are describing a book they read, a documentary they watched, a movie they watched, a book they read. So what you're going to do is answer the questions. You can take notes in your notebook. Tell me about a book you read. Tell me about a documentary you watched. Tell me about a movie you watched. And tell me your opinion about UFOs. Uh, let me have one volunteer, please. One volunteer, please. Okay, Eric, tell me, uh, ask one of these questions to me. Eric, gracias. Ask okay. one of these questions to me. Okay. Uh, tell, tell me about a movie you watch. Uh, well, I really, really enjoy watching the movies. Uh, the movie that I watched this weekend was a movie called Get Out. Is the name of the movie. Uh, in the movie, it's more like a psychological movie. I don't know if you guys know, but there exists technology where they can transfer the consciousness of a live rat to a computer software where the rat, the physical body of the rat is dead, but the consciousness of the rat is living in a computer. So this technology exists. So this movie, Get Out, has a, a very similar science fiction, well, not science fiction, because it's not, um, it's not something imaginary, it's real, where they are trying to transmit the consciousness of one person to a young body. For example, for example, Imagine that your grandmother is old, is sick, is going to die, but you don't want her to die. So in the movie, what they do is they get young, black, African-American people with healthy bodies, and they uh, transfer the consciousness of the grandmother in the body of the young black woman. So the young black woman is moving, talking, but her consciousness is like a passenger in a car. The person driving is the grandmother. Do you understand? Does that make sense? Yes, teacher. Right. So. This movie was very interesting to me uh, because I enjoy learning about new technologies and new things. And obviously, a lot of the things that we see on in the movies, a lot of times these movies have truth in them. 
So I'm very fascinated with this. I know that the Egyptians, the pharaohs back in the day, they used to believe in this reincarnation and afterlife and things like that. So to me, it's a, a very enjoyable movie. The actors in the movie are great. It's a very intense movie. You ask yourself, what's going to happen next? Is he going to escape? Uh, wow, this girlfriend is a bad lady. There are so many, many aspects in the movie that I really, really enjoyed. So right now, I'm going to give you five minutes. I want you to answer these topics. Tell me about a book you read. Tell me about a documentary you watched. Tell me about a movie you watched. Tell me your opinion about UFOs. And then when you finish, you're going to share with the class. Are you ready? Are you ready? Yes. Okay. Right. Let's work in pairs. Let's do this. Hey, Kevin, what's going on? Kevin, how you doing, Kevin? Hey, what's going on, Kevin? How you doing, Kevin? Hello, teacher. I'm here. All right, all right. Welcome back. Welcome back, Kevin. We're just waiting for Wendy to return. I need to okay. reset the groups because we have a new classmate, Kevin. Kevin just came into the class. That's the reason why I had to start over. Okay. Any any questions at this moment? All right, let's do this. Hey, how you doing, Marlon? Hi, teacher. Your partner is supposed to be Wendy, but looks like Wendy didn't enter the chat. I don't know what happened to her. There it is. No, Wendy, she disappeared. Oh, there she is, Wendy. Give me one moment. There, she should be coming in right now. Wendy, Wendy, Wendy. Uh, give me a second. Let me go check up on Wendy. Hey, Wendy, how you doing? We were waiting for you. We were waiting for you, Wendy. Hello, Wendy. Hello. Welcome. Welcome. Hello, Wendy. Ya está lloviendo súper fuerte. It's raining, It's raining a lot. raining a lot in my, in my house. It's a big storm. Y 
Perlet, uh, talk about uh, what's here? Uh, uh, one topic or more topic? I'm sorry, can you repeat that question? Uh, uh, talk about uh, a single topic or more topic? Uh, more topics. Okay. Is movies, is books, and others? What did you say? Topic is movies, books, documentary. Correct. I don't remember other topics. Uh, movies, documentaries, books. Okay. Uh, set. No. Thank you, teacher. Eso es verdad. You got it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Lisette, tell me about a book you read. I begin read a read book for uh, and. Uh, ¿Cómo le digo? Hace mucho tiempo y que comencé a leer un libro, pero um, I started reading a book a long time ago, but I haven't finished. Uh, why? I have almost no time. <laughs> okay, in my case, I am. I read a book by Paulo Coelho, okay. um, Veronica Decides to Die, is a very good book, it, it uh, teach, no, teaches you to, um, to value life is 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 more more uh, interesting is oh, sé, decir es super yes yeah, the libro You have a question? Okay. 
in in the movie. Hi, Diana. Hi, teacher. Do you have any questions about this activity? Mm, no, no questions. It's okay. just that I didn't find any documentary. <laughs> I don't watch them. Uh, you can imagine, uh, you can invent something only for, only for the exercise. It doesn't oh, okay. have, it doesn't have to be a real you can always uh, do it just just for the exercise okay mm -hmm. we're going to wait for everybody to return and then we will continue all right looks like everybody is back uh, at this moment does anybody have questions about this activity Nobody? Okay. We are going to go ahead and we are going to change uh, groups. We are going to change groups. Let's go. Change groups. Everybody change groups. Diana, Wendy, Marlon, let's go change groups. Uh, Marlon, you are working with Wendy. Uh, you can also share the screen. Hello. Hello. Um, I share. You can see the the picture. Wendy, are you there? Yes. You can see the picture. Yes, I I see. Okay. Um. Tell me about a documentary you watch. It. I watch. Do you like it? Do you like um watch documentaries? Mm. I don't like it. I don't watch a different documentary. Um uh, I I I prefer to watch a movie. Uh, and maybe yeah. I read the different books. Oh, it's difficult okay. for me, but I tried. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, tell me about 
a movie you watch it? Mm. I propose is the movie, it's my favorite movie. It's about oh. uh, one boss. Mm -hmm. I... <laughs> and you, why don't you <laughs> tell me about your favorite, your, a movie you watch? Oh, I like watch. Um, the movies of the com. I'm sorry, Diana. My connection is bad. It's raining here. It's raining here too. It's it's bad too. Okay. I'm gonna share you the screen. Okay. There it is. Tell me about a book jewelry. Mm, I like this book that I read read a lot of years ago it its name was its name was the reaper's game it's about uh, a little teenager a girl teenager who plays online with her grandfather and another friends from the game and they to to resolve some murders that has been happening and and one one day her mother is kidnapped so they are looking for the clues and in the news something that that it can you can solve the mystery with that where is her mother tell me about a movie you watched Hello. Is there? No, estoy seguro si is is a uh, is teach you about compassion and and loyalty creo que si se llama chimpancés no sé tengo oh, okay. hace bastante lo vi pero es 10 ese documental um, tell me about self perdón the vida extraso I don't understand. Yeah, que, ¿Cuál es su opinión de la vida extraterrestre? Ah, es a. Uh, es uh, a very interesting. Uh, ¿Cómo sería? ¿Cómo se dice uh, la palabra? Hay. Hay. I believe 
I believe of the of the life in other planet. Um, no sé cómo decirlo. Que creo que, que falta eh, descubrir muchas cosas, pero es interesting the 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 topic. Okay. In Lizette. Hello. I cannot hear. Thank you, teacher. Tell me about uh, you read. No, tell me about the book you read. I no remember was book read the last. The last time. Because I am interested in a group right a week because it's about the No sé cómo se dice conducida cuando se refiere a, a la vida. Mm, I don't know. I live right by purpose. I don't read now because he is very interesting. I recommend reading to books, all books, uh, Pablo Coelho. Okay. Other book, other book interesting is uh, the Damon and the Lady Prince. And, and other movie, and other good movie is uh, Chains or Papers, se dice, teacher, favores. What, 
what other movie recommend? I'm sorry, I cannot hear because not here this at Is everybody finished? Teacher, what is the pronunciation favors? Favor. Favors. Favor. That's right. Favors. Thank you. All right, Lisette, can you tell me about a movie you watched? Lisette, can you tell me about a movie you watched? Okay, thank you, Lisette. Eric, can you tell me about a movie you watched? Eric, can you tell me about a movie you watched? Hey, is the, I... I watched the the movie uh, Life is Beautiful. It's a a, a beautiful <laughs> movie. It is is a very good movie. It is yeah. Movie talk about the Nazi war. Uh, a uh, father uh, who tried not to let his son realize that he's uh, at war is uh, interesting for the uh, demonstrar, ¿cómo se dice? Uh, demonstrate or show me de demonstrate loving for the for the son. Wow, wow. And uh, how long is that movie? And I don't remember the, because it's, it's a good movie. Uh, it's a, the time is a short teacher. <laughs> okay, okay, good, good. Okay, thank you, Eric. Eric, select somebody. And um, Marlon. Marlon, go ahead. Uh, Marlon, tell me about a movie you watched. Okay. In my case, I like the mo the movies about superheroes. Um, for example, I like the saga of Marvel. Um, movies about Spider-Man. Um, Captain America, Hulk. Um, these movies are my favorites. Why? I like uh, Why? this type of movies because um, the movies have um, action, flight, um, superheroes. Um, escenas especiales, hay special effects, special effects, um, for all, for all is our, our movie is very, um, interesting, um, for this only. Okay. All right. That's cool. 
Okay, guys, I know that everybody wants to speak and participate, but we have to continue. Uh, for the next activity, we're going to be looking at relative clauses. We're going to watch a video about the relative clauses. I would like for you to take notes in your notebook and watch the video. Hi, we have previously studied relative clauses of time. Today, we'll study relative clauses using relative It's a movie. It stars Kate Winslet. It's a movie which stars Kate Winslet. It's a movie that stars Kate Winslet. We want you to know what relative clauses do. They join two sentences together and give information about something in the main clause. Relative clauses are joined by relative pronouns who, which, that. Who is used to join clauses about people, which is used to join clauses about things, that is used to join clauses about people and things. Hope this topic wasn't so complicated. Try with these following sentences. I will give you the first part of the sentence and you finish it using a relative pronoun. Ready? Brad Pitt is an actor. Gladiator is a movie. All right, so in this activity, we're going to write the two sentences. For example, Brad Pitt is an actor who movies action. Mm. Gladiator is a movie that premiered in the year 2000. Okay, so this one over here is good. If I say to you, for example, if I say to you, for example, Brad Pitt is the actor who starred in Mission Impossible, right? Brad Pitt es el actor que actuó o fue estrella de o patricionó en la película Misión Imposible. Or I can say Brad Pitt is the actor who was married to Angelina Jolie. Right? Brad Pitt es el actor que estaba casado con Angelina Jolie. O I can say Brad Pitt is the actor who played in the movie The Mummy. Right, Brad Pitt es el actor que actuó en la película La Momia. So you're going to give me five examples using who, using who, which, and that. Five examples, and you're going to write the examples here in the discussion forum. You can write the same examples as your partners. So that means that you can share your screens. 
Ready? Let's do it. Five examples. At least five examples. No hay. Pero voy a meterme. Relative clauses. Mm -hmm. Brad Pitt is an actor who moves action. Gladiator is a movie that premiered in the year You can share the picture. Yes. Thank you. The teacher but Brad Pitt is the actor who started in Mission Impossible. Mission Impossible. Brad Pitt is the actor who was married to Angelina Jolie. Brad Pitt is the actor who played in the movie The Mummy. Mm. Okay. Uh -huh. I. They we they use uh, who which or that mm -hmm. um tenemos que elegir un actor ¿ver? Mm -hmm. no lo entendí But Hola. Esa parte no entendí. Teníamos que hacer en base a esa misma oración. Ah. Entiendo que como tenemos que describir a alguien utilizando el who. Uh -huh. um. Ah, cualquiera de esas dos podríamos agarrar. Gladiador is a movie that premiered in the year 2000. Mejor la de Brad Pitt. It's Brad very. Mhm. Uh -huh. Entonces sería Brad. Uy. Brad. Brad Pitt. Brad Pitt is 